I think uh, fiction is too pretentious and documentary is too limited. Okay, she's Sara, Sara Afrin. Uh, she has been the producer of all my films until now. This is Kamar, Kamar Ahmad Simon, and he is the director of all my films. <laughs> What is the logline of day after in two sentences? Day after is the reflection of a society and people of Bangladesh floating on the water. Some stories in day after felt a bit bizarre. How much of the story was planned in advance and how much was created spontaneously? Life is bizarre. It is not the stories of cinema. And life is a stranger than fiction itself. So you don't need to make it fictitious. The life is like that. But at the same time, for technicality's purpose, definitely uh, there are sequences and there are uh, scenes where I had to made up. It is because uh, not a single event that happened on the boat was out of my control. But at the same time, there were almost every sequence that happened, uh, I actually went with the flow. So that is why I keep telling this is a hundred percent fiction and this is a hundred percent non-fiction. What is your favorite story in the film and why? For me, actually the toilet part, <laughs> like when the guy who is trying to get into the first class toilet, but the doorman is not letting him in. It reflects the society and the class and the divisions that we have. It's not actually in Bangladesh as well, it's around the world. Day After is in the documentary competition at the ZFF Zurich Film Festival, but how would you describe it? When I was shooting Day After, uh, I didn't comply with none of the genres, like uh, it's a fiction or it's a documentary, because why should fiction filmmakers should have only the fun. Why the documentary filmmakers cannot have fun? And also why the documentary filmmakers have to be obliged by projecting reality only? What is real? What is reality? Everything is a, a makeover. The minute I put a camera, that's my perspective. Everything I edit, that's my way of uh, telling you the story. So I don't think um, it's a, neither a documentary nor a fiction. It's a hybrid cinema. I actually write to the festivals that this is a hybrid film and very soon there will be two festivals where they had they are actually taking it in the fiction competitions how important is humor in day after it's the most important thing because all the time yesterday i was i love watching people like whether they are getting the humor out of it or not that's I keep an eye on that. Would you like to say anything else? Whoever haven't watched the film, I would uh, invite them to watch the film. And uh, my only line for everyone who have watched the film is, we all are on the same boat. Let's just realize that before it's too late. <laughs>